everyone, how are you doing today? My name is Karina and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be continuing on my panning journey with a different kind of video. So context, my husband and I are going to be going on vacation. This is going to be our first major vacation since we were on our honeymoon after we got married and I am so very excited we are going on a Caribbean cruise. We are going to be going over the February break and of course I'm pre-filming this before we're going and you guys will be seeing this right after we have returned from our trip and I'm sure it's going to be a wonderful trip. Because we are going to be traveling, I tend to pick skincare and makeup products that are not the normal ones I'm using in my day to day so the things that you would have been seeing in my project pans. Again, for the sake of packing lighter simplicity for the routines, um, things that are very compact. Um, so I am picking items that I'm going to be taking with me that are not featured in any of my projects. Some things or things that I use every day, things like eyeliners, right? That's going to be about the same size no matter what. So this video is going to feature the items that I'm bringing that kind of deviate from my project pants. And then these will likely be a lot of things you'll be seeing in empties or things that I'll be finishing up once we have returned from the trip. I don't do a whole lot of travel, so these won't be that common of a video, but I figured since I do have this trip coming up, I'm going to share with you guys what I'm packing, which also doubles as a checklist for me to make sure I have everything. I'm one of those people. I'm always paranoid. Like, what am I forgetting? What am I not taking with me? I should have most of these things covered, though. So let's dive in. I've got a selection of, I've got fragrance, I've got body care, skin care, makeup, and nail polish as well that I'm going to be taking with me down to the Caribbean. Uh, Caribbean, of course, is going to be nice and hot, so very different from the very winter that we have up here in Canada. I just got back in from shoveling snow. So fun. There won't be any snow down there. So with that in mind, what have I selected? The first thing that I'm going to talk about is my fragrance. So if you've been following along with my Finish 7 by Spring Project Pan, um, you know that I do have a small sample fragrance in there. But I don't want to take that one down to the Caribbean with me because one, it's not my favorite scent and I do want to smell nice for my pick. I mean, it's not like the fragrance is bad. It's just not my preference. But I want something a little bit more summery. So the one I have chosen to take down with me is a sample size. Um, if you caught my Christmas haul, this came in a fragrance sampler kit. Uh, this is the Gucci Flora. Just that guy right there. Um, I've only used this twice, I think. So that's basically our starting line of right there. They're not entirely full. But this one's very floral. Um, so I'm excited to take this guy with me down to the Caribbean. For body care, I have a smaller body butter that I'm going to be taking with me. Um, this is the Leah Reese body butter, and this one is in pink lemonade. And yeah, definitely smells like pink lemonade. It is more of like a summery kind of scent, which is what we're going to go with because, you know, it's Caribbean, and that's basically summer at this point compared to our temperatures up here. So I'm kind of excited. This one is, I guess I can show you the product as well. I haven't used it. It is completely full. I'm not sure how much use I will get from this, um, but I did want to have at least some body butter there, kind of depending on what we get on in the hotels, on the cruise ship for body lotion, but also to have something a little bit more fun and fragranced because I do like that in my body butter experience. Let's move on now to skincare and this is going to be the bulk of the video because um, I have been kind of stashing a whole bunch of things. Again most of these things either they came as um, like Sephora codes with purchase or Sephora free samples with purchase or like the Sephora favorite kits or the 25 days of, of beauty surprises advent calendar that I unboxed. So I've got lots of different sources for these kinds of items. And a trip like this is a good time to use it up, right? We are going for a week, so I should be able to make good progress and finish some of these off within that week span. Basically going in order of kind of some application or removal process, kind of a mix of both of these. I've got both day and night kind of products here. And we're gonna start off with the cleansing balm. So this one is the Pharmacy. This is their Green Clean Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm. This is the original one, which I have not tried yet. I've only tried before, like their seasonal Christmas, kind of more fruity ones. So I'm very excited. Right. 
product looks like that. As you can see, never been used. I do enjoy this particular formula, at least in the scented items. To also go with that removal process, I have a little cleanser. This one is here from Pixie. This is the Glow Mud Cleanser, um, deep purifying. It's got 15 milliliters of product in here. I am very bad at using this kind of cleanser, so this is probably gonna be sticking around for a little bit after the trip as well. But cleanser, awesome. That can be used day and night. Then I have my toner, and I've picked a toner that I can use both day and night. This one comes from Pixie as well. This is the Glow Tonic uh, Exfoliating Toner. And as you guys can see, I don't have a whole lot of this left. I am down to here. And I did that deliberately. I was using this, um, was it in the fall of last year, I think? Um, and I was wanting to get it down so I had, you know, enough product to take with me, but it wasn't super full right so i wanted to have something kind of started because toners you know there's a lot of product in these little sample guys hey for my eye kind of cream moisturizer kind of product i have three of these little samples i don't remember where these came from i assume a sephora gift you know, for the free sample stuff. This is the Josie Marin. This is their Argan Pro Retinol Eye Cream. There are two milliliters of sample in each of these guys. I've got three of them. I can use them day and night. And I'm going to take all three just because I don't really have a sense of how much of this I'm going to need at a time. So we'll take all of them. Moving on to serums next. So I do have one's for day, one's for night, starting with a day one here. I just wanna get this guy used up. This is the Ole Henderson, this is their, yes, Banana Bright Vitamin C Primer. I am excited about this one. I do wanna give this one a try. Don't really wanna keep waiting to use this one. So, on the trip, I saved it specifically for that. Um, obviously, this little packet is not gonna make me through an entire week. So, to help supplement that guy, I have this little serum here. This is the Darfin, I think. This is the Darfin Intro Inner Youth, Inner Youth Rescue Serum. So it looks like they had, and that's all I can tell you about it. For night, I intend to use this guy um, with all of the text on there. So this is the Kiehl's. This is the Retinal Skin Renewing Daily Microdose Serum. Long title, lots of text. Uh, there is yeah, 10 milliliters of product in here, so I anticipate I'm going to have probably some of this left over by the time I get back, which is fine. I'd rather have a little bit too much than not enough, but that's the next guy. Moving on to the category of moisturizers, kind of a similar kind of thing to the serum, starting with a little sample pack. This is the Tula. This is their 24-7 Moisture Hydrating Day and Night Cream, so this is the one I'm going to use first. Once that is done, then I have a moisturizer more for day, a moisturizer a little bit more for night. The one I'm going to be using for the day is this guy here. This is the JLo Beauty. This is that Blockbuster Wonder Cream. And that's literally all I got about it. So, use that up during the day. That sounds like a nice day one. To use at night, we have the Peter Thomas Roth. This is their firm collagen moisturizer with seven forms of collagen and collagen supporting ingredients. I am historically very bad at wearing sunscreen, but again, because I do have some retinol kind of products and it's gonna be in the Caribbean where there's gonna be a lot of sunshine, SPF is important. And I do have this little sample size. I do need to get it used up because it does expire in June of this year, but SPF is something you're supposed to wear every day and you're supposed to be reapplying it every two hours. And do I do that? No. Should I do it? Am I going to try to do better at that this year? Yes. So we'll start with this. This is the La Roche-Posay. This is their SPF Melton Cream. It has an SPF of 50 and I do tend to want like a high SPF on my face when I am wearing it. Generally, I try to go pretty high on my SPF in general. I'm also going to be taking the Neutrogena the Face and Body Stick um, sunscreen as well, which can, again, go on the face and be used on the body. I tend to prefer that because it's a little bit easier for application than a cream that you really have to sit there and rub in. So sunscreen. This is the one for the face, though, and I've already mentioned the other one I'm taking. Now let's move on to the makeup items that I'm going to be bringing in with me. 
So the first is an eyeshadow palette. So I want to take something that was small, uh, that was easy to travel with, that still gave me a decent variety because I am going to only have the one palette for a week, which as you guys know, I tend to like to cycle through my eyeshadows. So what I have done is chosen this one, the Essence Daily Dose of Energy Eyeshadow Palette. And it has this nice little wrapper there for a little bit extra security in the traveling. And this palette is really nice. Uh, I've only used it a couple times, but this is what it looks like. So again, very nice and summery, kind of bright, but still having some variety in here. So I do have, um, you know, this is kind of not quite a highlighty kind of shade, but it could be used to set the base. I've got these two colors, which I can use in the crease. None of these have names, by the way. Um, I've got some, well, these two actually can darken up the outer corner if needed. And then I've got these four kind of shimmery lid shades. So I've got lots of versatility and option within this palette here. And so that's why I'm going to take it. And I haven't used it a whole lot. So this is also going to be a nice opportunity to decide if I do want to keep it in my collection. I have used it a couple times, so I know it's not like a bust and it needs to go. But again, because I have so many eyeshadows, it allows me to have a little bit more dedicated time to play with something that's super wearable, easy to work with, nice, small, and compact. So I'm excited to play with this palette. In terms of my primer, I am excited to play with this one, kind of get to take a break from my hydrating primers that I've been trying to work through in my project pans. And this one is a famous one. This is the Milk. This is their Hydro Grip Primer. Um, it is completely full. It's a pretty good sample size of it. It has four milliliters of product in there. And I'm excited to try out something that's gonna be a little bit more supposed to be grippy and keep the makeup on your face. So I'm excited to play with that primer. All right, if you saw my makeup plan to pan video, then this is gonna look familiar. And you may have been wondering, well, why haven't I rolled that in yet? It's the only foundation you had in that video that you wanted to use up. And that's because I've been saving it to take down to the Caribbean. So it is my L'Oreal Infallible. This is the 24 hour fresh wear foundation. I have the shade uh, 410 Ivory. And I'm not sure if you guys will be able to see it. Well, you can see some windowing there, but I'm probably, it's around here-ish or so. Again, I wanted to make sure I had a good amount so that I'm not running out of foundation while I'm there. So I'll probably be still playing with this when I get back, I'm trying to finish it up. You'll probably see it roll into a project pan at that point since it, you know, it would have served as purpose of fulfilling my foundation requirement for the Caribbean. And it's a foundation I know I like, so I wanted to make sure I had something like that to take rather than try and find like a smaller foundation and then messing with that all the way there. The concealer I'm gonna be taking with me, I wanted something that would double for spot concealing as well as under the eyes. Um, obviously, if you're catching some of my Project Pans, right, the Partners in Cream, I do have a palette in there that I'm basically using as my concealer, so that means this item hasn't gotten a whole lot of use. This is my dose of colors. This is the Meet Your Hue Concealer in 05 Fair. Yes, I remembered it. Fair. Um, and this seems to be a pretty good color match for me, at least at this point. There is not much use on it. Like, you can't see. Oh, oh, I saw a little bit of movement. Okay, I don't think you'll see it. Oh, there it is. A little bit of movement. Okay, I am making some progress in here. That's exciting. Actually, I may have used more than I thought. Like there's probably gonna be a gap because of the stop because there's product up here, but then it seems to be down to here already. Wow, progress, that's exciting. Um, once that palette is finished up, I do want to be rolling in concealers. It's gonna be this one since it's the one that's open. So stay tuned for that, but we'll get a bit of a head start on it because again, it's one singular product, much more compact than that palette. Your tools needed, all of that good stuff. Um, same kind of thing when I was picking my eyeshadow palette. I was very selective with my face palette as well because I didn't want to bang a whole bunch of singles. And I want something, again, small, compact, secure, travel friendly, something I've traveled with before. And this tends to be the palette I bring when I do travel. And this is my kind of palette I've made with Mary Kay. So this one, if we're taking a look on the inside here. So you'll notice I have a highlighter, a bronzer, I have two blushes in there. We've got a little bit of use. You'll see it more on these, this side than on the blush side. 
So what I have, the bronzer here is in Latte. This blush is Shy Blush, despite the fact it's more vibrant. This is the blush in Rosy Nude. And then this is the highlighter in Glazed. Again, nice, small, compact. Um, I do enjoy the performance of this. It's very easy, very wearable, easy to work with. So that's why I'm taking this particular palette with me. And to finish off the makeup category, because again, a lot of things like eyeliners and the brow pencil, right? Those are things that I use daily. So not really worth bringing them in, talking about them at this point. You'll see them eventually empties. But to finish it off is a setting spray. And I am excited to try this. I haven't tried it before. But again, it is going to be one of those that's supposed to keep the makeup lasting longer. So a favorite, a classic. This is the Urban Decay all nighter setting spray a little sample size here 15 milliliters excellent so that's how much we have in there i've never used it before and we'll kind of test it and see how it goes to wrap up the last thing i'm going to be bringing in is a nail polish um so with the nail polish i will be bringing in one from my project pan which is the uh, rebel by larice elementary my dear watson uh so if you saw my update number one to my nail polish project you would have seen that roll in nice neutral want to take that one with me but i also wanted to have again more of a summery pop i didn't want to roll it in to my nail polish project for 10 uses simply because as you'll see by the color in a moment it is not the season for it it is very much a summer color but I did want to have this color on my toes for my pedicure to go down. And in case I do want to be twist, switching up my nail polish, I have the elementary kind of a nude option. And then I've also got this option here. This is the Rebel by Larisse, Leo Reese, And this is in the shade Can't Afford It All. Um, so a bright pink, very summery. You can see I'm clearly right there. Again, I don't know how much I'll be doing my nails, although I do do my manicure every day normally because I'll be on vacation and we'll be busy and relaxing. I just want to have the options. I'll have the two polishes with me. So that's everything at this point that I am planning on bringing that's outside of kind of my daily everyday usage, right? Things that deviate from what I have in current projects at the moment. And so I want to share what I'm taking down with me and what you will be seeing hopefully in some empties in March and April. So kind of depending on how long some of these things take. Some things I'll be able to form opinions on, make decisions if I want to be keeping them in my collection, which is always a good thing. Again, obviously, because I will be using these products for a week, that will technically take away from some of the progress in my other projects, or things like the eyeshadow usage project pan, the skincare project pan, the nail polish project pan. Um, so even a little bit with This Is Fantasy and Partners in Cream as well. So if you're interested in seeing any of those projects, make sure you check out the playlist. I have intros and some updates already up for some of those by the time you're seeing these. And obviously, as I'll be mentioning in a whole bunch of these updates that you'll be seeing for when I get back, um, obviously the progress will be a little bit less because one, pre-filming, and two, I wouldn't be using these pro the products in the projects anyway. But that is going to wrap up this very rambly talky video. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you like this kind of video, make sure you give the video a thumbs up. And of course, make sure you subscribe so that you see any of these items starting to pop up either in other project pans or in upcoming empties videos, especially for a lot of the skincare kind of items where I will be able to share my thoughts, my opinions, a little bit of a brief review on these items. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you guys in my next video very soon.